All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Shorty Index. We'll be talking about the fact that the, I hope that Black Ops 6 brings back wraps and or dogs or some version of that. But first, oh my God, man. Made a video talking about how like the Call of Duty's bullying kids. And there was this kid that was super humble, super nice inside my game. And he was versing campers by himself until Call of Duty did him the mercy of like filling up his team with actual players rather than him versus six campers sitting at the back of the map. I thought it was a pretty wholesome all around experience. The kid didn't get mad. It should have reminded us all what it was like to be a kid playing call of duty and some of you losers man oh my god games rated 18 plus shorty get over yourself you virtuing signaling fucking loser oh my god dude i played call of duty before i was 18 you played call of duty before you were 18 every single kid in my school played call of duty before they were 18 every kid since then has played call of duty since before they were 18 don't sit here and virtue signal the fact that they shouldn't be playing the game when you know goddamn good and well that you definitely played the game I bet you also waited till you were 21 to drink alcohol or 19 in canada 18 in some provinces imagine being such a loser that that's your only argument oh my god dude if you're one of those people just see yourself out of my channel man you were clearly too weak to be here getting offended that there's a child playing a video game we know there's children playing the video game we run into them a thousand times why the hell are you so shocked by this call up activision activision there's children playing your game yeah no fucking shit that's why we put all the skins in the game is because children buy it not grown adults same reason why every skin is now turning into a vibrant freaking rgb fest we're selling to children you dumb fuck imagine being you man your life had to be exceptionally sad in order for you to be able to think that posting a comment that it's 18 plus would be the right answer it's not do yourself so but building off that topic, ladies and gentlemen, there is a kill streak that we are all direly missing inside of the Call of Duty franchise. And I don't know why they keep getting rid of it and then bringing it back only in Black Ops. I understand that each game has their own kind of kill streaks that they use. But let's be honest, we need, we absolutely need to have wraps back as well as we need to have dogs. Apps were the mechanical version of dogs inside of Black Ops 3, and dogs were just dogs. These kill streaks were amazing for dealing with campers. They would run around the map and just create massive chaos. And to a poorly skilled out friggin' camper, a rap and or a dog running at them was the most terrifying thing in the world. These dogs and these rats would AI find them and they would hunt them down and they would destroy them in their little camping spot, causing them to move. They made campers rage. And I think that's why they constantly get rid of it and then they bring it back, now, including PETA. We got to get them in here. You know, the people that are for animals, sanctuary stuff, and they somehow cross it in their brain that they need to also protect digital animals that don't exist. I don't think the common person out here is going to be loading up their dog with a tactical dog vest and then sending it out to rip some dude just throw it out. So I don't think we really need PETA involved in this. But every time they have the dogs in the game, PETA gets all up in arms. They're probably the same people that are down in the comment section saying that if you're not 18 plus, you shouldn't be playing the game. Most games kids shouldn't be playing, yet they are. There's robots games that are for kids that are freaking more gory than call of duty is get over yourself this would be a perfect solution and we need it back we need more kill streaks to not be in the sky the reason why i say this is because every single map seems to have constant cover above us whether we're running around in the mall in rio which has windows but you could just not be it's never there comes in and just sits off to the side can't shoot through the roof on rio raceways mostly inside Vela's mostly inside it has hallways outside but the buildings are so tight together it might as well be inside terminals another map that has skylights but they never work there's too much cover from above so i would love to see a 50 50 split where we can determine whether or not we want lower kill streaks on the ground because i would personally run all ground kill streaks the air kill streaks are stupid uav lasts about 17 seconds that's why there's uav spam the counter uav is useless the harrier comes in and it does what it needs to do for the most part on maps like afghan but other maps it's rendered completely useless by the cover same with the overwatch helo same with the chopper gunner same with the ac-130 the juggernauts are all right except for they can be easily taken out by a couple people that are just nowhere near the juggernaut shooting it because the thing moves so goddamn slow we need stuff that slushes out the campers that's what made the rc car so great is that you would see the camper you know where they are you get your rc car you just send it straight for the camper you know the camper's got no skill it's not going to be able to take it out that's what made dogs great is because they would run around the map and just chew on the rushers they would chew on the campers they would chew on the guys trick shotting they didn't have they, they chewed on everybody indiscriminately and it was hilarious to watch them jump out of the, from outside the map into the lobby and you just see the terror you knew the terror you've all been there when dogs are hunting us down and there's two or three dogs whipping through a door at you and you're like oh my god kojo's here Ujo. 
or Joe Cujo. That doesn't matter. I'm sure some guy down in the comments will virtue signal how they know it, and I don't. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, the raps were another alternative. It wasn't dogs, so PETA got what they wanted, but they, I'm sure there's some other organization out there about mechanical balls running around the freaking world or some shit. The raps were these balls that would roll towards you and absolutely decimate you. We had the same exact fear as the dogs. In fact, they almost instilled more fear because they were just menacing. They were loud, they were over the top, and they would destroy you. And in Black Ops 3, they had the advantage of wall running, so you could get away from these things, but they still induced fear because they were so overpowered. All the duty needs to bring back maps that complement the kill streaks, like Afghan. There's cover inside the cave from the stuff, or you can go outside and deal with it. They also need to increase the health on these things, because if I'm spending my time getting a Harrier inside of the map, and I got to get all those kills, it's like, what, eight, nine, ten kills for a VTOL jet? It gets in there, and they can shoot it down before it ever even enters the map, because it takes that damn well long. There's a problem. The whole franchise kind of hinges on kill streaks. yet for some reason, they have slowly made kill streaks less and less of a factor and increase gunplay to more and more of a factor that now we got losers that are Cronus zenning aim assist just to have even more aim assist and no recoil you bring back the fun of it man getting a chopper gunner should instill fear on the other team bring back the deaths and the skill or board because you used to look at the scoreboard go oh my god that guy is at nine kills if he gets two more kills we know he's going to be getting a chopper gunner and then that's game so you would hunt that person down based off because you could see it now you got to go get a whole other thing just to buy another skin to have a blueprint that then gives you a gun attachment that allows you to see your own kill to death ratio, which is the stupidest shit I've ever heard of. Anyway, bring back the overpowered kill streaks. Bring back the health on the kill streaks because they should be hard to take down. They shouldn't be this easy. Like, it's ridiculous. The sentry turret's a goddamn god, and a literal Overwatch helo is basically useless. Two guys shooting at it can take it down in two magazines, if that. I never see the higher end stuff. Even switching over to core mode to do my knifing stuff, I never see swarms. I never see EMPs. I don't see anything above 10 kills is basically rendered <laughs> non existent in my book. The only time I've seen those kill streaks is A, a hacker lobby, where you got a cheater that is obviously cheating or B, inside of Ground War. I've seen it a few times inside Ground War. But yet again, it's another streak that is completely reliant, the Swarm being on the outside. And on these maps with all this coverage, you just stop moving, wait for the timer to end, and then they go away. Dogs need to come back. RC car needs to come back. Mosquito drone needs to go away. It's just an annoying fucking perk. They need to lower the threshold on the sentry gun because it's the lowest kill streak and it's probably the best kill streak in the entire game. You put that bitch in a corner on shipment, it's getting you 30 kills. You put that thing in the right spot on favela, the thing's getting you 30 kills. And all you have to do is just hang out behind it so the enemy can't get to it. That thing is going to rake them in. I've destroyed teams on rust. I've destroyed teams on underpass with it. It's just, it's overpowered. It takes a long time to go away. It shoots for forever, has laser pinpoint accuracy, and is incredibly hard to get behind if you camp it too. I want to see Call of Duty kind of go away from the gunplay a bit. We get it. Everybody's a god. Everybody's a sweat. Everybody's playing like they got fucking towels on their necks and they're playing for the next phase tryout. Get it. You're good at playing a video game. Good job, loser. What we want to see is the game become fun again. And if you're not going to get rid of skill-based matchmaking, if you're not going to get rid of your engagement optimized matchmaking, then at least bring back the fun of getting kill streaks. I don't even think about my kill streaks. I think I switched them at the very beginning of my playthrough. I think I run the UAV. Yes, I definitely run the UAV. I run the SAE and I run the Overwatch Elo and I'll trade out one of them for the sentry gun depending on how I feel the day I'm playing. For the most part, I don't switch anything in the game. I don't even look at the stuff anymore. I run around, I get my melees now. I just go get my knives. Sometimes I rotate the knives just for video stuff for you guys. Before that, man, I just rock the exact same gun every single game all day long. The exact same perks, the exact same loadout, the exact same vest because I just don't care anymore. The game's so overly bloated with all this shit that doesn't matter that all the stuff that made the game fun is now just like, it's, it's not even in the backseat, man. It's in a trailing car down the road a couple kilometers stuck in construction. Game used to be about getting kill streaks. It used to be about running around, and they slowly just devolved it into just gunplay. They made it so the kill streaks are so astronomically high that it's not worth really getting. The average player isn't going to get 15 kills without dying with only their gun. It's actually incredibly rare to see somebody do that. That's why the swarm is basically non-existent. That's why you don't really see nukes in your lobbies. It's just not a thing. It takes a very sweaty, very try-hard player to go and actually genuinely grind out a nuke. It takes a very sweaty player to go and actually do that in an organic lobby. That's why all the people that you see getting these nukes that are like getting them multiple times a day, multiple times in the same game, it's like they're playing against bots, dude. If reverse boosted their account so goddamn low that the people that they're going against are playing in another room on a different game on a different console playing a totally different genre of game. 
They have zero idea, and these losers sell it to you like it's a real thing. Bring back the real organic feel of Call of Duty. Bring back the dogs, which deals with the campers. That was my favorite streak to run, man. It was absolutely amazing because before Sniper Glint, good sniper could hold down an entire side of the map because you didn't know where they are, which is what a sniper should be. And I want to make a whole video talking about how stupid Sniper Glint is. But you would get dogs. You you just avoid that side of the map, get your kill streak on the other side of the map, get your dogs, get your wraps, and it would go and deal with the person. It would kill the sniper, and you would see it in the kill feed, and you'd be like, "Yeah, suck on that wiener right there." Mm. Now, I fucking I, I don't know. I don't I don't I barely see kill streaks. There was a game I was playing yesterday, and I was editing it for the TikTok clips. Legit, I'm editing it, and in the edit of the scrapyard clips, you can hear the lady going, "Enemy UAV up, a friendly UAV up, friendly UAV available, friendly UAV has been called in." <laughs> She's talking for like the whole clip, like it's like 15 seconds, and I think she said UAV like nine times. That's how many UAVs were being called in because nobody's running these high-end kill streaks. They're not worth getting. They can be shot down immediately, taken out immediately. Everyone's just running the low-end shit, man. I don't blame them. The whole switch from allow allowing Call of Duty kill streaks to stack on top of each other and work towards a future goal was stupid. If I get a Harrier, that Harrier should 100% work towards my next kill streak. It's still getting kills. Why the fuck doesn't it work towards the next thing? Oh, because crybabies like the guys in that guys in the comment section of that kid video are gonna be like, oh my god, so bullshit that this guy can get nine kills without dying, calling a VTOL, and that VTOL helps him get a chopper gunner. That is bullshit. As they sit over there struggling with the concept that kids are gonna play a video game no matter what you do. Call of Duty needs to stop catering to these people. I really hope Black Ops brings back the freaking overpoweredness of the kill streaks. Bring back Phosphorus. Bring back the Rolling Thunder. Bring back the dogs, the wraps. Bring back the RC car, the Doritos. Bring it all back, man. Give us full loop. I got a lot of faith riding in Black Ops 6. I'm not going to lie. I'm not falling for the hype, but I really just feel like they know that they're they're on the struggle bus here. I feel like they know that COD's teeter-tottering. I think they can see that they've lost 25,000 players and it's continuing to decline. I think we can hopefully see good things coming our way. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the video and you're not a piece of shit who thinks that kids can't play a game even though they're gonna to, then leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, leave a comment down below. Channel members, you guys got new emotes. I hope you guys enjoy them. And as always, have a wonderful day.